What's going on, ladies and gents? It is I, the Watson Antonio, playing as Opie, the angler, paladin, miner, uh, whatever else, blacksmith. Um, we are going to do butterfly quests, so let's begin. Wait, what? Oh, forest life. I wonder if the great spirit will be attending to various. So, what about the food in the doors? We should talk about Pino and find out. So we just gotta go back to the forest. Easy peasy. We'll just do that then. What's going on, sir? Ahoy there, young sprout! Oops, just got a better look at ya. You weren't the sprout I thought you were. No matter, you're still a sprout to me. Go on and keep up with the sprouting. Okie dokie. Um, we're gonna have to get to level 50, probably after I beat the game, to go to at least go to Origin Island. Uh, for the, that's the DLC expansion that they got on this. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, get a dragon pet. I'll probably have Spanky roll with me then. You guys haven't seen much of Spanky because we've been doing a lot of missions. And I'll be able to kill all the big beasts. Hey! hey! Get away from me, Rumblebee, or whatever your name is. But we're doing quite well. Elderwood. Oh, hello, wolf. Hello, bastey. Gotcha. All right. Or actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll max out my level to 50, so that means 18 more. And then um, I'll beat all the nap dragons and whatnot. Nap dragon, big beak. There's a couple other creatures that I've seen that I've been too scared to tengu with. A what? Oi! Ye gingery mother. Oh, a bear too. Come here, big bear. Think you can swipe at me? He's got honey. I will not take that bounty. I wish you didn't have to like take him place. I wish you could just transport him. There's actually a creature in this forest too. Alright, to the deep mush face. Let's go to the deep. Let's just go to Elderwood. Did I level up? <laughs> Good old Opie. Oh. That's right. You plains bear. One of my other bounties are still sitting there. Oh, what the hey hey a train. I was gonna about to get loud up in here. Yeah, it's the only problem with where I live. Is you got trains that go by. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's pretty loud here. Okie dokie, Opie. We're gonna try and beat the game right now. Um, okay. Okay, never mind. Out of my face hole. That's the creature, the forest wrath or forest wraith. Yeah, that's the creature I'm referring to. That's one of the other ones, which he's gonna be tough to beat too. But hopefully if I get a gang together, me, Spanky, and maybe, um, Odin, oh, it'll, it'll get real, real quick. Alright, here we are, Elderwood Village, aw. There's Pino, let's talk to Pino. Ah, good to see you two. I was hoping I would get to speak with you before the summit. Are you attending the summit, Pino? Yes, unfortunately, the Great Spirit is unable to leave the forest for logistical regions. I can't wait for the summit to start. It's going to be a big step in the right direction for all of Arvaria. What? Well, through learning to trust you two and your band of acquaintances, I realize perhaps humans aren't all bad. However, it may also be true that you two represent the exception rather than the rule. I don't think that's true at all. Since I came here, everyone I have met has been quite kind and quite friendly. 
Well, we creatures of the forest have long been separated from humans, you see. I just don't know. Perhaps it's time for us to become united as one, Riveria. I don't know if humans and our spirits are really ready for this. Many of the forest spirits are deeply afraid and distrustful of humans. And I'm sure such feelings would go all the other way as well if humans knew we existed. Perhaps at first, but I think we could overcome it. We have to trust in each other, Pino. I've traveled quite a bit across the land. I have spent a goodly amount of time in each kingdom. And I cannot say that everything I saw was a complete vision of peace and bliss. I witnessed petty fights between pirates and the young governor in Puerto. In Amajik, I saw a royal family that seemed to isolate their child in the name of an enacting revenge. There I also witnessed dim-witted would-be heroes blindly hoping for glory as they shook like cowards. Can you truly say these humans would not destroy the peace of the forest given the chance? But the great thing about people is that they can always change, Pino. Lady Olivia had made amend with the pirates. Lady Demona was under a great deal of stress and is now fully committed to the well-being of her family. The heroes we met seem willing to listen to and respect Lord Damien, well most of them. I'll admit, Magnificus can be a bit trying to deal with, but just let them think he's in charge and it's okay. I should have suspected that beneath everything there was good nature lying in wait. I do not doubt your words, but I must confess my own questions came from my fear. I trust that most humans meet well, and yet I am still apprehensive about having contact with them. But I must remind myself it's only my own fear, and this is the fear that separates and divides. I must be strong for the sake of the forest and for the sake of Riveria. Well, Pino, your wish has been heard. Forgive me for expressing my unfair judgment. I don't want to be th that you're impressed with me. I know how you feel. I was nervous before coming to Riveria, too. Opie, I have something to request you. If you'd be kind enough to hear it, would you consider allowing me to accompany you on your travels sometime? The world I saw when traveling alone did nothing but fill me with concern. However, I have a feeling that if I travel with you, perhaps you could show me a different perspective. Alrighty then, Pino. I look forward to seeing the world as you do. Curio. Rats a brace. Well, shucks, where to next? What the heck? Became allies with Pino. Well, shit. Let's see what else is going on here. Is there anyone over in this direction? Oh, little forest people. Hold me. Marimo. Danuda. Hello again, great spirit. I bid you welcome, child of Lunaris, and to you, child of Riveria. Child of Lunaris is a bit on the formal side. You can just call me Yulia. Oh, that is if you want to, Great Spirit. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, my apologies, young Yulia. I would indeed be ashamed, uh, indeed be ashamed to let such a lovely name go unsaid. Thanks, my mother chose that name. Of course, dear Celestia. Young Yulia, wouldst thou do me a favor of showing me thy true form? Sure. Ah, yes, there truly is so much Celestia in thee. Seeing you takes me back to when I was but a cub. Were you close to my mother, Great Spirit? Indeed, I was. Dear Celestia came to this world when I was still very young. My wish was among the many wishes she granted with her special gift. You mean even the Great Spirit had something to wish for? Hoo-hoo-ha! <laughs> yes, my little one, indeed I did. So what was it? What did you wish for? I wished for a friend to play with. Really? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> it is rather embarrassing to say now, I must admit. Ah, I think it's sweet. But it truly was my deepest wish, and your mother was more than happy enough to grant it. Dear Celeste, you often visited me dawn till dusk. We did more than play. She taught me many things. She taught me about Riveria, nature, and feelings. She also taught me how to speak like humans. Well, I must say, my mother was a great teacher. Indeed, of course. She also asked many questions. I told her of things I knew in return. She was especially curious about the forest and its inhabitants and what we ate. I may have grossed her out a few times, but I sense her same curiosity in thee, young Julia. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. Our time together was wonderful. It was something I shall never forget. As she did so much for me, I am glad to see the day when I can fill my promise to her. May the heavens bless your journey, young Yulia, for I know that your mother looks upon you kindly. No, thank you, Great Spirit. No, thank you, Great Spirit, for your wonderful words and for all your help. Meaning you as a blessing for us. You are welcome to visit me anytime. This world that dear Celestia loves so much shall be proved to be a good home for all of us, as long as we prove to be the kind and generous protectors that are all in our natures. Yeah. 
in mother's footsteps. Well, we would love to come back and hear more of your stories when there's time. I would like that very much. Here, OP, please take this with you. Adorable charm. The whole of the Elderwood is with you. Yeah, except for some creatures want to kick the crap out of me, but sure, whatever, Danuda. Earn the Great Spirit's trust. Ooh. Let's see what's going on up here, Ith. How's the research assistance going, Butch? Being a rig such as this, I exactly what I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it would be more glamorous. No photographers, no reporters. Search for materials carried on back, stripping vines from the ship and stuff. I mean, it's okay. But getting stuff and taking it from one place to another is pretty much the same life I had before. Butch, if you got time to yak, you got time to just get over here and help me. Bro is acting all weird again lately. He ate a bad mushroom. He ate a bad mushroom, did he? No, we do that all the time. Here, have one. I don't know what it is, but Pierre's all, you know, working and stuff like he actually likes doing it. It's a pleasure to see you working so diligently, Pierre. Keep it up. Shut it, Hughes. I've been doing this to impress you. Well, I see that's quite alright. As far as I'm concerned, it matters not why you're working. Only that you're working. If we can get this ship operational, everyone will stand to benefit. If you've got time to sit around and talk, you've got time to just give me some work, will you? I would like Layla to know who to thank when all of this is done. Easy enough, go fetch me the parts I requested from the village. Right away, and have my next task ready for me by the time I return. Just look at that. Maybe he's sick or something. Love sick, maybe. Hello, you're just in time to help me retrieve some items from the village. Your work ethic is suddenly very impressive, Pierre. Can I ask what's changed? Oh, you know, I'm just... I guess I finally found my calling, that's all. As soon as I saw her, I was like a shock through my whole body. I've never seen such a beauty. I can no longer hide it, but Layla is my calling. I want to shout it from the treetops. Layla is my calling! Um, okay, just calm down. Your wish has been heard. Have you talked to Layla about how you feel? Oh no, I can't do that. Girls like the strong, silent type, so I don't know if I'll ever talk to her. Oh dear, you might want to rethink that last part. Really? Well, I've learned quite a bit since we've been up here, so let me tell you something. What's that? By all means, enlighten me. All a man needs in life is to find that which he truly loves and never speak and make some dosh. I don't think that's how your credo goes, bro. Fact, I don't think that's how any credo goes. He may be doing repairs here, but he's definitely got a screw loose. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh my gosh. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, let's figure out what I still got left to do. A. Uh, menu. Hi, bro. Uh, but I don't know, this isn't a quest. Quest. Wait, mate, is the queen still in the forest or would she be at the castle? 